I'm a dog. You can't teach that. I'm going to go out and do whatever it takes to win. And every single night, my teammates rely on my energy. So being able to continue the energy, even if we're down, even if we're up, that's what I, that's what I do. Yo, what's poppin' people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. And you know how we do before we get started. Go ahead and do your boy a solid and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn your post notification bell on so you'll know when your boy's going live or dropping this heat. Hey, and don't forget to join the member section, man. Click the join button and let's get it poppin'. As y'all know, it's been a great month, week, and season so far for Angel Reese. And it's only getting better. As the uh, Rookie of the Year race cranks up, our girl Juju Watkins has chimed in. Y'all want to know what she's talking about? Who's her Rookie of the Year? Let's go. Juju Watkins picks Angel Reese over Caitlin Clark for 2024 WNBA Rookie of the Year. Per the Bleacher Report and our homeboy Scott Polacki. There is still plenty of time remaining in the 2024 WNBA season, but the Chicago Sky star Angel Reese has done enough to earn a Rookie of the Year vote from one of college basketball's biggest names. During an interview with GQ Sports that was posted on TikTok, USC All-Star Juju Watkins said, As of right now, I got Angel. We all got Angel as of right now because she balling out of control. When asked who she believes is the WNBA Rookie of the Year to this point, I got Angel. She been killing it. Dang on right, she been killing it. She killing the game. The good news for Caitlin Clark and the rest of the rookie class is that there is approximately half a season remaining to close the potential gap with Reese. Chicago forward been dialed in with the WNBA record 15 consecutive double-doubles. It says 14, but as of last night, we had 15, and she killing the game. She is averaging 14 points, 11.9 rebounds, and 1.6 blocks per game, and was named to the All-Star game in her first season. That's because she a baller like that. Rookies can go to the All-Star game when they ball, and Caitlin going to the All-Star game. She balling. Rakia Jackson need to be going to the All-Star game because she balling. Clark was also named an All-Star and figured to be Reese's primary comp competition for the Rookie of the Year. The Indiana Fever star is averaging 16.7 points, 7.6 assists, 5.9 rebounds, and 1.5 steals per game while connecting on 34.2% of her three-pointers despite facing constant pressure defense every time she touches the ball. Supposed to be on her. She the best shooter on the team. It will be fascinating. It will be a fascinating rookie of the year race, especially since the two headliners have been connected to each other since they start, start at Iowa and LSU in college. Watkins is starting in the college game at USC and may one day compete for her own WNBA rookie of the year award if she continues to improve after averaging a head turning 27.1 points per game as a freshman while the Trojans with the Trojans last season. Juju need to come out next year. After this season over with, she need to come to the W. Juju will be falling, and she'll get a bigger contract than probably everybody in the league. Besides Asia, can't nobody get no more money than Asia. If y'all don't respect Asia Wilson, man, y'all some suckers. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, man, we glad Juju gave her two, two cent. I'm glad she picked Angel as her MVP, I mean her rookie of the year right now. But that might change during the year. We in, we we at the midway point, and we got the all-star break and the Olympic break coming up. So we're going to see how it pan out. I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to join the member section. Leave your comments down in the comment section. And we out of this thing, man. Y'all be easy. Peace.